What's up, guys? This is Warwolf. It's been a while. I haven't had a review in a long time, but uh, finally got something to actually look at. I've recently personally, oh, I've had a Switch for a while, and I've had a PlayStation 4 for a while. Okay? So here's what we're doing. I got this controller because I didn't want to buy a PS, a, a Wii Pro controller, and I didn't want to have to buy a PS4 controller. So this brand came out called Anivia, and I figured I'd give it a shot. This is what it looks like. Pretty much looks like your basic PS4 controller, except for the button layouts, a little bit different. Like there's no numbers there. But it does have a touchpad. It does have a light bar. It's a mini USB charger too. So you should be able to use that. Triggers and everything's right here. Also, headphone jack. So it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. So what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how it works, how to set it up to PlayStation 4, how to set it up to your Switch, and set it up on PC. It doesn't work on Xbox One that I know of, but it does work on the other majority. So we're gonna test out the uh, PS4 Pro. So we're gonna switch on over to the gameplay. Just give me a second. Aha. Of course, I got Dragon Ball Fighters playing right now. There we go. So I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work on the PlayStation 4. See, watch. Usually, you take the cord. You can use any USB cord if you got it. Like you got a PS4 cord. Just plug it in. Now when you press the home button, it's basically uh, connects to the PlayStation 4. See? Recognize it. Show you how this is gonna work. Let's see. D-pad works exceptionally well. This is what I use for fighters anyway. Dash is good. This area dash is good. Triggers work pretty smooth. Like once you press the button, it's like a good thing. You really made a mess of things, huh? That's how this works. And let's turn off the music for a second. Alright, we should have some game sound in the back. Yeah. Alright. So basically, got all that situated. So impulse is pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so yeah, it basically works. Like I said, the start button works too. Well, the home button, rather, if that's what you want to call it. Touchpad works. It works. Everything works. See? So that's a good deal. Good deal right there. Okay. So now, when you're done with it, you're just going to turn off just like you do any other PS4 device. Disconnect. 
Then if you got your other controller, you probably want to do this if you got a switch in the room. Because it can cause some confusion. just disconnect it to be on safe measures there you go for that so let's turn off PlayStation 4 now we're gonna switch over to the switch so be right back guys okay so now we're back, but this time we're using the switch. You don't want to use this. So basically get your controller. Oh crap, whoops. My bad. Let's uh, pretend that didn't happen. Okay, okay. Anyway. I'm going to continue. And um, the way you have to do this is a little different. You have to press the home options key at the same time. Without it hooked up to the cord. We got to be at a certain screen. Let's try that. Actually, I think it just picked up. Once it connects, yeah. Once you do it connect like that, you're fine. And you're pretty much using the same controller you had that was on the PS4. And like I said, using joystick. Move around. Let's go uh let's go find something to do real quick. Just to just to kind of show this off real quick. Like I said, joystick's moving pretty good. No kind of delays. Just something to kind of get an idea. Show you how responsive this stuff is. At. I forgot how to play this game, so you gotta give me a little bit of time. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Trying to remember the buttons. Do, 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 do. Okay, well. There we go. Pretty much game control, like it. All the buttons work. I think it's in a prompt, I'll press it. Kind of get an idea. So, everything beats me with working sync. Yeah, this thing will take a lot of kill. So yeah, there's that. Let me go ahead and stop this. There you go. Works with your switch. Pretty amazing. And the last thing we're going to check is going to be PC. Let's go ahead and do that. Get your cord.
Hook it up. All right, so the PC recognizes the sound. And I'll show you the desktop what popped up once you plug it in. So. Let me show you what pops up. Different screen. Let's go to, there we go. This is what pops up here. So you let you know you're using a controller so it does recognize it once you plug it up. You should see a little blue light here. Once it's connected. Oh. Anyway, let me turn off my overlays. Okay, well, like I was saying, let you know you're using a controller. So it says, please run Steam in big picture mode for week four use of your controller. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go to Steam. Uh, big picture mode. Let's find us a game to play. And see, I'm moving around the UI with the controller. So let's see something I can just Hollow Knight. That's probably something that will play great with controller. Let's just check it out. I haven't played a lot of this, so we're just going to basically just move around and see what's going on. See, so move around the joystick, looking up, look down, so everything's still working. Swords work. So we're just going to do some base controls, let you know that everything is working. Oh, I'm terrible. That's the game. <laughs> but yeah, it seems everything seems to be moving smooth. Trigger buttons work. Yep, so all your buttons are working. PC. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, yeah, like actually see what you get to see on here. Like everything works. It's pretty amazing what it does. So yeah, guys. 
Maybe that's something you'd like to invest into if you uh have a Switch and a PS4, but you want to like have the same kind of controller. And I'd definitely recommend the Nivea controller. You can get this on Newegg, which is where I found it at. Because I've been always looking for a at the market controller for PS4, and this happened to be one. I figured I'd give it a shot. So far, it works. Um, one thing that I didn't really like was the pads, the sticks. So I took the comfort sticks off my old ones and put them on here. Made a big difference. That's the only thing that I really didn't like about it. They feel kind of hard. They don't not really like the soft material as the uh, PS4 controllers. A little bit harder. So personally, in my opinion, that's why I got the grip. I and mean, grip don't cost about like two bucks. So for a comfort on my finger, I will spend two dollars. <laughs> but that is it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you do like the video, subscribe. And I'll try to upload more content as soon as I start getting more stuff in to actually review. So I've got a new job. Actually able to get a little bit more stuff. But until next time, Pack. Werewolf out.